Global Rice Science Partnership, or GRISP uh, as we call it, uh, was approved in early November in 2010. And so since January it has become fully operational. And I think we're all very happy that we have been able to implement it in a very smooth and effective manner until now in the first uh, nine or ten months. I think what it already has shown is uh, a much higher, a whole new level of uh, scientific interaction, communication among scientists uh, that has also led to many new initiatives uh, across the globe. So sometimes uh, we may have been thinking in the past too much about our own regions or the countries that we're working in. And we see now a much more increased level of uh, uh, interactions and also a whole new range of partnerships uh, across the different world regions. So, I think overall, uh, as the person overseeing or coordinating the implementation, I'm very uh, pleased with the progress that has been made. Uh, I think uh, we've put the mechanisms in place uh, for an effective new research and development structure. We have, I think, a very unique approach in the sense that we are emphasizing a more product-oriented R&D structure, but still uh, also having enough room and flexibility to enhance uh, breakthroughs in science to also allow people to explore and discover. So we've had a series of uh, workshops during the year that have focused on developing more clearer plans and uh, ideas uh, for a range of new global initiatives that only can be accomplished by uh, many institutions, scientists from many institutions uh, working closely together worldwide. Uh, so the steps are now taken to Im starting to implement those and uh, also funds are being raised or have already been allocated on a priority uh, manner for those new activities. I think we are also uh, extremely happy to have been able to, for the first time really in many years, uh, award a significant number of new scholarships. Uh, PhD scholarships uh, now have been awarded under the Global Rice Science Scholarship Program, one of our new capacity building efforts, to 31 uh, students, uh, including from Africa, uh, Asia, Latin America, Europe. So that has been uh, a significant effort, uh, and I think we're all looking forward to the impact this will have um, in terms of uh, having a new generation of uh, young people engaged or getting them engaged in, in rice science. Uh, we've also developed uh, a whole new monitoring and evaluation strategy. And I think I'm most pleased to say that so far we've implemented this very large global program with a volume of nearly $100 million per year without creating any new offices or new uh, bureaucracy layers. So we've tried to do it in a very efficient manner. Year, but also a transition year. 2012 will be the year that I think uh, will see us move even much faster. We have many things that have started. We will launch a whole range of new initiatives, also calls on a more competitive basis for new frontiers research, new partnership developments. So what I would like to see is an increased level of participation and also more partners uh, stepping forward and say, we believe that we can take a, a lead role or a leadership um, role in this particular line of work or in this, uh, because this is a comparative strength we have and therefore we can also contribute more own resources. So I think we still have a lot of potential to leverage co-investments, to mobilize more resources, and through that also uh, even expand the whole network and uh, gain more impact faster. So I think the basis is there, the mechanisms are there, and we are open to work with anyone who wants to work with us.